Yeah, bye. <laughs> All right, XOXO. <laughs> Got a girl. Audra at Home is filmed in front of a live Pitbull audience. Good morrow and merry meet. My name is Audra and you are in for a treat. All right, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. It is now that time again. Listen, it is another new makeup nonsense bingo that I film in concert with my dearest friends. Teresa of Teresa is dead pictured on either side of me because I don't want to point because I know that the second I point there I'm not gonna want the photo to go there and Emily Hanhan, -Han, I did it Emily Hanhan. -Han. If you see my other Bingos you would get why this is a win Any who's it's editing me is gonna go in and tell you exactly what new makeup nonsense bingo is about because I always forget it as I've already started pre-gaming for this party Go ahead, editing me. Take it away. New makeup nonsense is three things in one. It is a will I buy it, a drinking game, and a game of bingo. We all have a selection of items that we will all be choosing from at random, some more random than others. And if you would like to join, please feel free to contact Emily Hanhan so that you can have your uh, information added to the playlist. And guess what? The playlist is in my description box below, as well as all the information for the cards and all the all the things. All right, back to you, past me. Before we get started, I did want to go ahead and let you know that this video, like all of my videos, are in fact sponsored by my patrons and channel members. Thank you, y'all are the best. And let's go ahead and show off my fancy schmancy bingo card. Boom! Let me show you all of the products that we will be, in fact, working with to choose from. Now, for those of you who do not know, I don't play the game like everybody else because of time. Uh, so it helps my editing to put the card in intermittently to show you where we are in the game. So I am going to go ahead and show you these items and then just prepare to see what things are uh, rated as as we go along. Sometimes I decide in editing, so, you know, it is what it is. Oh, yeah, let's go. Before you ask, here's a quick little close-up of my look because, bitch, I'm killing it today. Listen, this look is inspired by the fact that I'm ill, and so I went ahead and chose uh, sickness as my deciding factor. Let's get started. I'm gonna start out with a banger because I'm that bitch. Why wait until the end? Why put off tomorrow what I could do today? Wayne Goss decided that today was the day that he would disappoint all of us. Uh, he's come out with the Luxury Cream Foundation. It's weightless and a weightless powder, right? Wayne Goss is doing Wayne Goss things. All right, so let me let me peekity peek at it and. Uh, see what we're thinking about it oh my stomach am i hungry again i had chili for breakfast yes i had chili for breakfast who's not eating chili for breakfast are y'all still eating bacon and eggs because get out of here is this a good ish gradient Ugh. here's what i'm gonna say i like it's not just a wayne goss problem it's like a problem with everyone who decides that they want to put out complexion products um I am going to say this in the meanest way I know how. If you don't have the money to be comprehensive, don't do it. It's, it's super simple. And I say this because there's literally like three peachy shades. So the white girlies aren't doing good either. The tan girls aren't, the tan girlies aren't doing good. Like, I just feel like this is not a good range in general to anyone. Like, I just, I feel like this is very odd. Um, you have like 
white and then like the ones in the middle are damn near the same and so it's like oh okay all right and then you go once again this is my biggest pet peeve when people are talking about like deeper shades and they get to deeper shades is when it's like brown brown like y'all we need y'all to chill the f out like nobody like it just jumps so far i'd really almost rather you not jump to like your end spectrum and be able to afford to like add more in between as time goes by then like be like kind of brown, brown dark brown it, it's weird it, it is weird uh and then of course um i don't like the cream like i don't like cream foundation right we know everybody knows me and cream products we ain't friends we're not but i just feel like i knew it i knew i would find somebody who mia of mia's virtual vanity said it best if you don't have funds to create a better shade range, why are you creating base products? Is anyone holding Wayne at gunpoint to release foundation right now, this instant? And that's what I'm saying. It's not just a Wayne Goss thing. Because here's the thing, the girlies out here trying to argue and, oh, he's self-funded, blah, blah, blah. But y'all don't f lie, don't f lie, don't be a liar. Don't, if y'all saw this shade, is the same shade range and it said benefit, y'all would be coming guns blazing. So that's what I'm saying. We can't keep giving smaller brands a pass because those smaller brands become bigger brands. And when those bigger, when they become bigger brands, they just keep doing the same shit. So like, that's all I'm saying. I, I'm not gonna buy it. The poof is separate. There's a weightless powder. I'm good on not buying anything from Wayne Goss. I have pretty much consistently stuck by that because Wayne Goss just doesn't really make products for me. Now, is there probably a shade in this cream foundation that I could wear? Probably. Yeah, sort of, sort of. It doesn't, it's not yellow enough for me. Um, Cause I kind of need, I, of, I often need like a little bit more yellow in my foundation for it to look good and I don't feel like there's enough yellow in this uh yeah I'm just good I'm good I'm gonna continue my not purchasing from Wayne Goss so here come the stands screaming at my black ass I don't have time next up <laughs> Danessa Myricks all right so we have Danessa Myricks came out with these little circles. I said that so stupid. Danessa Myricks came out with circles. It looks like circles to me. <laughs> I think that it is um, a blurring balm powder for your face and eyes. So sorry. I'm gonna try to edit out as much of my coughing and shit. Here's the thing. It's not the dreaded C. Uh, Texas has been having like 35 mile an hour winds. I shit you not. I've been getting headaches from like, cause I work outside. Um, as, as you can clearly tell by my lovely glove tan, uh, I work outside. It's like now you can just be uh, like the veil lifted. <laughs> this is the real color of my skin. I don't want to talk about it. Anyways, uh, but the 30, 35 mile an hour winds, pollen, all that shit's been kicking up. And as is as usual for my birthday, uh, I feel like shit, you know, it's just, it's, it's the way that it is. Anyways, back to Danessa Myricks. Adding to the yummy skin family, I feel like it's gonna be sticky. <laughs> uh, I ate at like 8 a.m. and it was chilly. And I, I thought I'd be better off, but I'm already drunk. All right, it's fine. I'm drinking a mimosa, by the way. I just feel like it's gonna be sticky. I Listen, I've said it once, I'll say it again. I love the yummy skin foundation for pictures and filming. I'm not wearing it today. But I'm never gonna wear it to go out because it's sticky. It's sticky. It grosses me out. Um, but you know what? Maybe I will attempt the blurring bomb. If y'all want me to try this blurring bomb, I want you to drop a ghost emoji. Thank you. I just, I, I feel like I'm gonna upset myself doing this. I already feel it. Um, I also don't really understand. Like, it looks weird. Like, I, this does not have like a, like, I don't understand exactly, because it's like a texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm that balances oils throughout the day while maintaining hydration. So there's one universal flashback free shade, and then 10 tinted shades. 
Um, I do not understand this shade range either, but I'm not a makeup artist, but I don't understand this either. The same criticism I had for Wayne I kind of have here, like, I know that it's a blurring balm or whatever, and I guess you could put shit atop it, but I just feel like you don't want to because the point is that you like just kind of like this is your skin but better and there's a spatula for your hygienic use y'all listen let me tell y'all something about all these little fucking beauty spatulas i don't know what to do with them <laughs> there's just tiny spatulas everywhere I, I can i just throw them away yes will my autism allow me to throw it away absolutely not Absolutely not. It's part of the set. I can't throw this. I, I, just, I can't throw it away until I am done with the product, and then I can throw it away. I can't live like this. I I hate these. I need them to stop. Like my fingers are fine. I don't like listen. I'm about to like lotion up my hands because they're dry. I cannot. I can't. I just need them to like realize what. Who decided? on like little spatulas for our skincare. That's why we have preservatives, right? Like that's the point, James Welsh. <laughs> Can you comment on this? Like that's why the hell we have spatula, like that's why they have preservatives? Yeah. <laughs> So that like I can dip my grimy fingers in this shit and it'll be okay. Well, not grimy. Yes, grimy. Anyways, I might try it. We will see. It's gonna be available the day before my birthday. I will be doing some uh, family birthday celebrations. Hopefully it won't make my birthday suck, but yeah. I guess, um, I don't know what to call it because I feel like everything is foundation again. Well, this will be foundation again. I don't care. I don't care. And the other one will be complexion released with it. Wayne Gossby complexion released with a terrible range. And I'm going to see. <laughs> it didn't come. Embarrassing. Y'all, Too Faced is on. They bullshit. And they were like, listen, hoes, I know that you have been wanting um, to do more shit to your brows. I, I need someone to tell me like straight in my face. Well, maybe not straight in my face because germs and also that would be weird that you found where I lived, but are we still hunting down new brow products or have we decided on what we want to use? Like, cause I kind of have a, a dual brow thing going. You can't exactly tell, but it's like mauve and purple. Um, and that's what's happening. Um, I, so I don't like any of these. For those of you who don't, like this is, cause it is their uh, fluff and hold. And the thing is, as I have mentioned multiple times, I have 17 hairs on each side, right? Let me just put in this quick little insert from my like little coffee chat or whatever I'm not wearing makeup. But I think it's, I clearly have no eyebrows. <laughs> This is obviously of no use to someone like me. I need products for us no brow bro hoes. Thank you. Bro hoes is uh, trademark, Audra. It's for us NBs. Thank you. Instead of having to say bitches, we can say bro hoes. <sighs> Ho bros? I like bro hoes. I like to have the bro hoes. Anyways, yeah, I mean, I guess it's great if you have eyebrows. But if you don't have any eyebrows, it doesn't fucking matter. I don't have any eyebrows on this side. In fact, if I wanted to, I could just draw this side, done. And then I would just be like alieny. But the only reason I don't is because I don't want to look like Jalopity Staircase and his weird eyebrows. It offends me. Moving on. All right, yeah. so next up, lightning round. Stila exists. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Stila exists, okay. So Stila came out with this product. Um, it looks like it's several products, it's, and I feel like it's like double-sided. Am I out of my mind? New shade, just in time for festival season. Listen, I see that y'all went to Coachella. And I do have judgments for you. Just kidding, no I don't, I went to the rodeo. But, it's the rodeo, fuck, I could not go. Anyways, um, y'all, I, it's dual ended eyeliners, which I don't like. Uh, and I don't like dual ended products. I'm gonna, I have to, I have to keep saying it. I hate dual ended products. And it's, I just, I don't know exactly what, I think it's because, okay, so.
Alright, like this happens really much, so that doesn't have my situation. I have two drugs in this party, so that is like, oh. Nothing has proved my point. I just don't like dual-ended products. I don't like it. Like, I even, like, I, I need to get another one of these just the spoolie, just the, so I can brush these four hairs forward. You know what I mean? And then, like, get the other uh, 13 hairs over here. I had to math really hard. But, like, I don't like dual-ended, oh, here we go. This one will work because I like that's why. Ha, I found one, even in my drunken state, because I like to be able to do this. So I don't. Well. You let me um, well, that's the end of this Marc Jacobs pencil. But the point is, the reason that I like that is because I can just do that. And I don't lose the cap. Because I'm a, I'm a chronic cap loser. So I don't like dual-ended products. I, I'm glad that Stila is out here trying to do things. And um, I also am going to say that their liquid eyeshadows are really crusty. They are really crusty. I've had one before. It's super crusty. Like, it, it, gives, it gives, you know, crusticula. Count Crustula. Scooby-Doo and the Crust Kids. All right, we're done. Y'all, not Christian Dior being like, we've come out with a uh, bronzer. <laughs> Is it in other shades? Because it's like infused powder with pansy flower, which helps the skin preserve its natural hydration. With a buttery soft formula that blends like a dream, whether you're contouring or simply warming up the complexion. I said complexion, like it was two words. I'm sorry. I am sorry. It warm bronze, $48. Bitch, first of all, is the shade just warm bronze? Bitch, are you serious? <laughs> like, wait. It's not even available in the US. Listen, I'm gonna like this comment because Andy AK okay, stares in brown girl. Because, bitch, me too. I. <laughs> so confused why listen it's the same thing somewhere somewhere in my home is a Marc Jacobs bronzer that I cannot use the shame the shame if you want like because Teresa just recently did like a this is embarrassing if you would like for me to do a video about like <laughs> just products that I'm like why the fuck do I have this you know, please drop a carrot emoji because uh, carrots harkens back to the old days. So yeah, I I, <laughs> I really I am kind of <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just tickled that they're like in warm bronze. <laughs> like <laughs> forty eight dollars. <laughs> Christian Dior. Christian Dior. Like I can't. I can't. Oh my god, date Krista, I love your comment. I mean, the bronzer looks super nice if you're like, so fair you struggle to find foundation matches. For everyone else though. Oh baby doll, I can't, I'm just gonna. <laughs> Y'all, in an attempt to not be forgotten, even though I really feel like this brand, I am actually concerned uh, about Dose of Colors, all right? So, Dose of Colors released their lightest collection yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't stop myself from saying it. it's too late. Um, it is the Truffle Collection, and it is for Teresa. Millie and Tina. It is not for me. It's not for me. I, listen, from the arm swatches, I'm just, I'm going based off of the arms. All right? Let me live my life. You live yours. 
Uh, and then they were like, we have... <laughs> This lip color is not gonna be cute on me, baby. Mm -mm. I'm already. Mm. Oh, this blush is. Listen. No. No. Look, you can barely see it on the Tina arm. You can barely see. It. I'm calling it the Tina arm now. Tina, it's your arm now. Even though it's not. Tina, this wasn't paid for. I'm like, so here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. What the fuck is this? Um. <laughs> I know that I'm ill and I know that I'm drunk, but like. What in the hell is going on here? Am I out of, I'm honestly, I'm honestly concerned about this brand. Like, as if you, because I noticed that I do have a lot of subscribers and viewers who are in the UK, um, Australia, like all, y'all let me know if Dose of Colors is bigger where you are, please and thank you, because I need to know. Also, if you are from somewhere else that's outside the US, drop it below. I want to know where you're from. Like say hello from wherever the fuck you are. And also tell me what time it is when you're watching the video. I don't know what that does for anything, but I just want to know. I'm curious. I, I don't understand this whole thing. I think it's, um, I feel like it's a copycat. Cause like, didn't Kylie just make this? Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I know that I just said that, but like, all right, we're gonna ooh, we're gonna try to move forward. I know I just called another like normally Kylie's copycatting everybody else, and this time somebody's copycatting her, and I don't really know what to do about the turn of events. So, na -na 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 all right, continuing our blitz here. Nyx has come out with the Wonder Stick. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Because if you are thinking, wow, a Wonder Stick what could go wrong then yes we are but if you're thinking something else dirty bird anyways um it's back uh it has blushes it's a dual ended contour and highlight stick i cannot begin to tell you how much i hate it uh i'm sorry i know that people like this i get it like i don't but i don't like I don't like things like this. I'm sorry, like I know everybody else is like so excited about it. I don't like dual ended things, y'all. I don't, I always forget the other side. Like this is not, <laughs> this is not neurodivergent friendly. I'm just gonna say it's not, it's not neurodivergent friendly. I feel like here's what's gonna happen, okay? If you have ADHD, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You need some place to put the fucking cap. Because if you're not holding it, right, and even then, even then it's dicey. You can be holding the cap and doing this and then be like, where's the cap? And then you wander around looking for the cap, set the cap down somewhere to look for the cap, and then your shit's drying out. Listen, I can't, it's not, <laughs> I need you one side. And always have it so that I can put the cap on the back. Thank you. That's all I'm asking. Make this shit ND friendly because I, I can't, I cannot, I cannot, I can't mess with these dual ended brushes. I cannot, like I only use one side if I decide to use it as all, at all. I can't, I am stressing. Y'all are stressing me out. All right, we're going to move on. I don't like it, but for everybody who else, who does like it, yay. Remember that time they had them lipsticks? Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Like one side was like, and then the other side was the inside. Do you remember? Cause there was like a whole trend of like the lip. Do y'all remember? I swear that that was a thing. And it was like dual ended. Like one side had one shade and they were like perfectly matched. Am I out of it or was it these? Cause this is contour and blush, but like they had lip ones. I swear, somebody in the comments let me know if you remember cause I'm not on my own. I'm not on my own. All right, next up. Jaclyn Cosmetics has entered the chat. Uh, so I am going to look at this uh, objectively as I, as I sometimes do. Um, she is celebrating Mother's Day with a collab with her mom. So, ooh, I don't like the lighting on that. Wow, that, uh, I don't like her nails in this either. 
Um, you know what? Here's the thing. If you are white and you have a white mom, get it. Happy Mother's Day for y'all. You know? Because this wouldn't, like, I couldn't, uh, bringing this to my mom. You know what I mean? No offense. You know, happy Mother's Day, Jacqueline's mom. I don't know who you are. You don't know who I am. We don't know each other. But I'm just gonna say, um, it's, uh, here's the thing. For people saying, why are the colors so boring? I get why they're boring, because it's for your mom, right? Like, and I don't mean that to be shitty, but like, my mom wouldn't wear this. Because my mom isn't boring, but she doesn't like all the pizzazz that I like. She doesn't like all the zazz that I have. And that's fine, that's fine. Um, so yeah, I think if you want to delve into the world of Jacqueline and you want an eyeshadow palette that you and your mother will both love and you are also neutral and uh, dusty, eh, I'm sorry, I said it, then get it, but not for me. I love how she, how she has like the deep brown like powder here like bitch like like because here's the thing there's two different photos there's one that makes it look like semi decent and there's other one where you're like K -k -k. I I'm gonna have to pass. Uh, next up, okay, so the Dragon Fruit Palette was in fact revealed. It's with Cleona Cosmetics and Emily Violet. Violet? Violet. Violet. Emily Violet? Violet. I got stuck. Moving on. I swear that is her name. Now I feel like a fucking asshole. Please hold while I just say like, I'm like, Violet? And what's interesting is that Trendmood doesn't have that it's like the collab. Because it, it is a collab. It's not just Cleona. It's Cleona. The Dragon Fruit collab is with Emily with a V. I'm just going to say that. Editing me will fix it if necessary. You were right past me. It is Emily Violet. But you were saying it weird. Uh, sometimes words just come out of our mouths weird. It is what it is. Continue. Um... So here's the thing. I think that it's gorgeous. Uh, I, I, I do think it's very, very pretty. I do. I do. I do. I just got a... my mother. I, from, from my taste, I think it's a little, a little too pink. And I know you're like, bitch, you are covered in pink today. Yes, I am. I also just got my Cleona order. <laughs> But I'm trying to find my other Cleona shadows and it's like freaking me out that I may have lost them. Like I, I, you know when you get sick and you get emotional, like I started crying and I was just like, I, like there's like my Davina, there's Davinas that I'm missing. Like I am breaking down in some ways cause I can't find some of my very pretty like shifty shadows and it's like actually starting to hurt my feelings. Anyways, I think it's beautiful. It's like a beautiful palette. It's just like not my cup of tea. I'm really happy happy for her, but it's not exactly my cup of tea. And I will say that I am I I don't love the layout for me for me right because I I couldn't I couldn't um, structurally look at it like that. And that's not her fault. That is her design, and I'm very happy for her. But for me and my eye, it will always bother me that there's two longs in the middle, and I can't I do. It'll, it'll just make me feel uncomfortable. That's not her fault. You know what I mean? That's me. That's, that's because I'm problematic. I'm a problematic queen. So I do like this. I think it's really pretty. I like that there's um, nail polishes as well. I don't wear nail polish. I, it's impractical in my line of work. But I'm really, really happy for her. Is it Emily Violet? Am I saying it wrong? Emily Violet. But I say it weird, okay? I feel like I'm saying it weird. Violet. Is it too many syllables? Y'all gonna have to let me know because I feel like I, I, I can hear it, right? And I, I can hear that it sounds different. We're just gonna move on into the new thing. I'm actually really excited. It's, it's, actually, it's stunning. It's a beautiful palette. It's just a little pink for me. And I know I have pink all over my face right now. Just like, I, I think that I'm gonna just like live my life sans the palette now. I do, however, Wait, let me just tell you, I will be getting the highlighters and the brushes. I don't want the palette, but I will, I will, Jesus. Did y'all hear him fart? Anyways, 
I will be getting the highlighters and the brushes. I do want that. Our Asian queen, Scarlett Johansson, has finally released the outset Asian representation in this bitch. Whoop, whoop. So uh, the outset is here in the most plain, boring ass packaging I've ever seen in my life. Um, how much is this bullshit? Yeah, that's what I thought. A micellar, micellar water. I feel like I'm saying words weird. Anyways, micellar antioxidants cleanser, $32, bitch. Restorative niacinamide night cream, $54. Firming vegan collagen prep serum, $46. It locks in healthy vitamins and vegan. It has nothing to do with the fact that you're a fucking celebrity, does it, Scar Joe? Does it? it? Has nothing to do with the fact that you can afford the best of everything, the best food, the best. <laughs> you can stay your happy ass out the sun if you want to. Ah, oh, y'all, these celebrity brands. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get that I'm drunk right now, but also, um, no. The, I. <laughs> It's gonna be available tomorrow, right? I implore you not to buy this shit. Here's why. It's just gonna keep encouraging celebrities to do this dumb shit where they try to pretend that like, this is how they look good. We all know that they don't, right? Like for instance, if I got on here and told you that my skin is a result of living well, the lies, it would be categorically Fucking lies. I smoke, I drink, I'm in the sunshine, I don't get enough sleep, I don't drink enough water. I use some pretty good fucking skincare. That's what I'm getting out of this. You know what I mean? I don't, a lot of it's genetics. Nobody wants to tell you that a lot of it is genetics. A lot of it's genetics. You know what I mean? Like, I have really good genes. I have really good genetics. And that's why, like, I'm able to look the way that I look. And also, I'm using some fucking ridiculously expensive skincare. Sunday Riley, like I'm using that, their lactic as their like whatever, I can't remember the name right now because I'm terrible with names. Feel good, it's good. Good seat, good seat, not, I can't get it. Mm, mm. I, the Tatcha, I, Tatcha moisturizer, Tatcha cleansers. Like bitch, I am swimming in expensive, skincare that does miraculous things. But if I were to sit here and lie to you and be like, I just live right. I don't live right. I live like hot trash, hot garb. Do you see these bags? It is a result, not just hereditary. Not like this just deep thing, but like, cause this right here is hereditary. But this, this right here, I don't fucking sleep. I barely sleep five hours a night. I thought I was gonna sneeze. Again, I didn't, how disappointing. And, uh, and like, I, I would be lying. I hate celebrity brands because they try to convince you that this is the shit that they use. <laughs> it's, it's come, it's like, it is like the orgasm that won't come. You know what I mean? Somebody's like working so hard. You're like, I'm almost there, but you're not. And they've been working on this for like two hours and you're still not ready. Anyways, that's all I'm saying. Don't buy it. Don't buy the celebrity bullshit, I'm sorry. Like I, I can't, like makeup, fine. I'll buy celebrity makeup lines, okay. But I'm not buying their skincare. I just, I draw my line in the sand at that because I know that you have access to thousands of dollars of, of treatments that I will never have access to. And I wouldn't do that to my audience. I wouldn't tell y'all that my skin is a result of living well when I live like fucking garbage. I live like goddamn Oscar the Grouch in a fucking trash can, miserable and angry at everybody. Thank you. All right, we're gonna end on this one because honestly, I'm really drunk and I want to um, lie down. Maybe, maybe we will. Who knows? Who knows how I'm feeling? I actually do just want to lay down. We'll see if I hit bingo just by like laying the fuck down. Anyways, anyways, y'all, Pat McGrath has entered the skincare chat. All right, and it is a rose essence. And I'm here to tell you right now, I will not be purchasing it because I don't fucking like things that smell like rose because it always smells like an old British lady who is looking down her nose at you. It does, you know? Who's like, 
Oh my. You know what I mean? I, I don't like, like, because fake rose um, in skincare, like, it always, so it's just, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know? When you walk by, she's like, ew. <laughs> Uh, how goosh. You know what I mean? Like that vibe, and that's what it smells like. And I don't want to smell judgy. I don't want to feel like I'm judging myself. I already judge myself harsh enough, and I don't want to smell it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's going to be just stupidly expensive, I know. Um, but there's a really weird blurred picture of a young lady with it. Uh, I feel like maybe that was a video that she took screenshots of. Good job again, trend mood. Um, so it's divine skin. I kind of, here's the thing. I wish instead of an essence, she had come up with like an oil, like a skin, like an oil. Because that would have been better, in my opinion. I know. Are you impressed that I like burp like that? Mouth closed. I have skills. Um, yeah, I... Ugh. It is gonna be expensive. I can feel it. I, I already feel like $72 for this shit coming. I already feel it like everybody's entering skincare. Obviously, as they should, because makeup as a whole is <laughs> crashing. Um, unless, of course, did you hear that? I whistled a little bit. Oh my god, I whistled. I made a whistling sound and I didn't suck in. I went out. Like, listen. Okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm good. I think I'm, I'm actually good on not doing that. Yeah. So welcome to the skincare world, Pat McGrath. And I think that, oh, oh no, we are not done. Bitch, I said I was going to end, but I was lying. I'm 13 minutes in. Well, it's like 47. <sighs> this is where I'm going to end because... I want you were in there you never were listen I I said everything was boring I am a liar I am a liar here's what happened I adept has this fucking stunning listen I actually really do I know I know I I don't care I want it I want this. I want, I want it. It is fucking beautiful. Listen to me. Listen to me. So Adept Cosmetics has uh, the Superman inspired palette, House of L, like Kalel. Okay, anyways. I don't know why I even know that about Superman because I'm not even a Superman fan. Anyways, anyways, the shades are beautiful. Um, I almost wish that there were like no mats. I just want them just a full, just a full. All I want in my, like, I want all palettes. Just shimmers, duos, multis, extra chromes. And I want this. I want it. I want to put it all over my body. I want to rub it over my nipples and um, not explain myself when I take my shirt off. Because who am I explaining myself to? My imaginary lover who I don't engage in with? Exactly. So I'll be rubbing it on my nipples like a normal person would. I want it so bad. It is gorgeous. They also were saying that it's a new formula. Like, Give it up to the girl. Okay. <sighs> All right. I'm done having my fit. We're going to look and see if there's anything else I want to talk about before. Nope. That's it. That is it. I am literally like, cause I have to lay down. I have to wait a minute. No. Yes. No, I have to lay down. I'm drunk and drunk me is also having some sinus problems. So listen, editing me, I'm gonna need you to A, let me know how I look, boo-boo, because I wanna make sure that I didn't destroy myself throughout this video, but also, did I hit bingo? Thanks. Hey, pass me, you look amazing. I enjoyed putting this look together and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Also, fun fact, unlike last new makeup nonsense, this time we hit bingo in the second to the last row, straight down. Enjoy. I bet my tongue is white because I'm sick. Move along.
All right, that is it. That is the video. Obviously, I'm way too drunk to carry on. Uh, again, I have not been taking care of myself and eating enough food, but I'm about to go rectify that situation. Uh, taking care of myself is a little bit of a difficult, difficult thing because I'm tired a lot and I don't pay attention, but I'm working on it. All right, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please make sure if you have not yet already, Go watch Teresa and Emily's video. Theirs will be linked in the description box below. Not in my pants, but in the box. <laughs> oh wait, that made it worse. Anyhow, if you would, please do me a favor and give this video a big thumbs up so then that way the algorithm goddess can do what she does best, which is push me further down into the algorithm so that I can continue to do what? Whatever the fuck I want to. And as usual, all of you who watch, like, share, and subscribe, I appreciate all of you as well. You make my day and what's been wonderful is seeing some of you who comment who i've never seen before the algorithm found you and you found me hi oh my goodness i don't know how that happened but what's up how you doing how you living anyways please please remember it costs zero zero dollars to be kind it's so good for your soul because if you don't take care of it you know when i'm better obviously i'm not gonna come for your soul i'm sick but like i'm you know this will be gone in like three days, and then I'm gonna fuck you up. XOXO! <laughs> Got a girl! <laughs> Why? Why? To bed. Ooh, this is pretty lit. Mwah! Ah!